The Steelers just brought in a linebacker for a tryout, and it's not who you think. And what could that mean for one of the linebackers currently on this roster? We'll discuss further. Big Deke News. <laughs> Pittsburgh native and seven-year NFL veteran Nick Kwiatkowski was brought in today for a workout with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Plays inside linebacker, has been with the Raiders, was drafted by the Bears, and also spent last season with the Atlanta Falcons. This transaction, uh, or I can't even say transaction because the signing hasn't happened yet, or let's just say the Steelers' interest in Kwiatkowski is intriguing, to say the least, on a few levels. One, this isn't the type of inside linebacker I thought the Steelers would be looking at right now. We already had a visit from Quan Alexander like a month ago. I've talked about potentially bringing in Reuben Foster. Also, there's the trade rumors with Isaiah Simmons. All those guys are the athletic, more coverage-style linebackers. Although, I wouldn't really say that exactly with Quan Alexander or Reuben Foster. They can do that. They could do the cover stuff at a higher level than other inside linebackers. But they still are physical, thumping dudes, not afraid of contact. But anyway, uh, the Nick Kwiatkowski mold, I feel like, is already on this Steelers roster in a Cole Holcomb. Now, I think Cole Holcomb is better than Kwiatkowski, but you got a Holcomb, you got an Alandon Roberts, also a Mark Robinson. You're talking about more of the thumping style, not as good in coverage, and also can bring some special teams versatility because that's also something Kwiatkowski can do. Like, the breakdown with him, he's been around the league, a little bit of a journeyman, has gotten starts throughout his career. He had 12 in one season with the Raiders, but yeah, probably started around 40 to 50% of the games he's participated in, but also has done a lot of special teams. So I do wonder, I'm like, why are the Steelers interested in bringing in a guy I feel like we already have? Now there's the Pittsburgh connection. He went to Bethel Park, but I'm not really sure exactly where he would fit on this team outside of just extra inside linebacker depth because after those top three, we don't really have a fourth guy that has a ton of experience at inside linebacker because it's just Chappelle Russell and then Tanner Muse. Tanner Muse was more of a special teams ace with the Seahawks, so maybe we're just doing due diligence and... Worst case scenario, he's just going to compete for depth. Like, I don't think this rolls us out of an Isaiah Simmons trade or a Quan Alexander or Reuben Foster pickup. I feel like it's just for the time being, this wouldn't hurt us to bring in some extra depth. You know what I mean? And then just see how everything plays out for the rest of the offseason. But this also is interesting coming on the heels of a Terrell Austin comment that he made in an interview regarding Mark Robinson, which was pretty surprising to me um so here have a listen that we saw enough from mark rob uh that we could bring him along still not you know still a work in progress still probably not quite ready uh but really making good strides i think uh when you watch him as i watch him uh he's he's better in communication he's better in in, in pass coverage he's better in some of the things where he was hurting on last year uh, but he's still got a way to go he still has a ways to go uh, but he's really working on it, and, he's, and you see the improvement. And so what you're hoping is, uh, as he continues to improve, that maybe next year he's ready to really compete for that for that starting job. My surprise with what Austin had to say here was more at the latter portion of his comments on Robinson, where he says, yeah, if he could do all these things and continue to do them, maybe he'll have a chance to start next season in 2024. I thought he was going to be competing this year with an Alandon Roberts. I mean, we just paid Cole Holcomb three years, $18 million, so he's going to be our linebacker one. But Alandon Roberts' contract isn't anything absurd, and we saw a lot of Mark Robinson's potential at the end of 2022 and who he could be. We're hearing a lot of those good things that Tara Austin was talking about in the beginning of this answer so like i don't see why we're just completely rolling out 2023 for him to get a chance to start it doesn't have to be week one but i me personally wouldn't be surprised if he's out on the field basically playing starters minutes uh midway through the season just because i know what i saw last year i know what i saw in the preseason I know what i saw at the end of 2022 i think mark robinson has got that dog in him and combine that with the talent and athletic ability to match it the only knocks on Robinson right now is his inexperience at the linebacker position because don't forget, he started out his football career as a running back, just made the switch recently to linebacker, but also a little undersized. But 
we seen that that doesn't have to be the biggest or the be all end all of factors for making an impact in this league a la uh, James Harrison. So, yeah, I'm just uh, intrigued with these two things kind of taking place in the same time. I wonder if the Kwiatkowski tryout has anything to do with Robinson, or maybe Austin's comments have nothing to do with the Kwiatkowski tryout. It's just sheer coincidence. So, end of the day, take on both things. Kwiatkowski, I'm not expecting much. He'll be a depth linebacker, uh, potentially a special teams guy. If we do sign him, I don't think it takes away from us looking elsewhere at inside linebacker, bringing a more athletic guy in. And then with Mark Robinson, I don't know if I agree with Austin. I know he's the defensive coordinator. I just think Mark Robinson might have a chance to seriously play this year in 2023 and start. Uh, it all depends on maybe what pickups are done throughout the rest of the offseason, who else we bring into the room. But man, there's something about Mark Robinson. I think it's going to be tough as time goes on to keep him off the field. Maybe this is Austin's way of motivating Mark Robinson. I mean, he's with him day in and day out and knows what can make him tick. But yeah, I just don't really fully understand the comments. I get what he's saying at the first part of it. Like he's continually improving. We're loving what we see. Uh, all of it's right there. It's just, we need more and more of it. And we're, we're really liking what we're seeing right now. But then just to have that statement at the end, writing off 2023 as an opportunity for Robinson to start. I don't know if I'm there. I, I really don't. But let me know what you guys think on the Kwiatkowski tryout and also uh, Tara Austin's comments on Mark Robinson. Do you agree or uh, disagree? But that's it for Big Deke News on a Tuesday. Stay chilling and peace.